My name is Sun Yixian, a person whom Taiwanese people call father of nation. I'm the leader of Republic of China. December 12, 1822. I was born into a peasant household in Zhongshan in Guangzhou, near the Portuguese colony of Macau. During the time I was born, China was controlled by emperor. When I was young, I was sent to Hawaii for studying Western science and Christianity in 1879. I had graduated from Hawaii before I returned to my native village when I was 16. I started studying in Hong Kong and began my medical training in Canton, China. In 1892, I had graduated as a student who has the best score of the school, and I went to Macau and got interested in politics. Because I was disappointed to the government's corruption and inability to defend China against foreign country, I wrote a reform letter to Li Hongzhang, a politician of the government. Because my mail got ignored, I returned to Hawaii and I created Xin Zhonghui, Revived China Society. I started to travel and plan for the revolution. By 1893, I had traveled to Hawaii, San Francisco, and England. In 1895, I planned an uprising in Canton, but it was discovered by the government. So I fled from Guangzhou to Japan. In 1905, I joined Tomonghui, which is Revolutionary Aliens in Japan. I was elected to direct and organize Tomonghui and I started the revolution against the Qing Dynasty. By 1911, I had failed the revolution 10 times. Later, the Wuchang uprising caused the Xinhao Revolution. And finally, October 10th, 1911, the Qin Dynasty collapsed. China was controlled by the Republic of China government, the first democracy government of the Chinese history. But in March 12, 1925, I died in Peking, China. I was a successful and remarkable person. I had attempted a revolution 11 times and I never gave up. And October 10th, the day I succeeded, becomes the National Day of the Republic of China.